Welcome home, Billy. So It's Me, Billy is a Black Christmas fan film telling the story of Jess Bradford's granddaughter as she encounters the infamous killer of the original film. What is up guys? The day is finally here and Dave McRae's long awaited Black Christmas fan film, It's Me, Billy is upon us. It should have just went live as this video went live. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, I'm not gonna have any spoilers. So you're free if you wanna watch this, but definitely encourage you to pause this Go over to his channel, the link will be down below to that video. Check out the fan film, it's about 40 minutes long, and then come back and see my thoughts and share your thoughts down in the comments section below. I have really been excited about this. I was a contributor on the Indiegogo campaign for this film because I absolutely adore the original Black Christmas film and I have been gutted twice now by the remakes. Black Christmas, I'm sorry, Black Xmas, I thought was pretty garbage until Black Christmas 2019 came along and I went, hey, you know what? It's not so bad. But even with that being said, neither one of them have come anywhere close to touching the, the genius horror of the original Black Christmas. I mean, Black Christmas is one of those original slasher films that I honestly feel like does not get enough credit. A lot of the credit to movies like Halloween really deserve to be given to Black Christmas that got there first. And it's just genuinely one of the more bone chilling slashers of the 70s. I mean, there's scenes, there's sound design, especially in that original film that rivals stuff that's brought out today and hardly anybody ever talks about Black Christmas. Well, hopefully with the release of It's Me, Billy, that'll start to change a little bit. It's Me, Billy is an unofficial sequel to the original set about 50 years later. It shows the story of Jess Bradford's granddaughter, Sam, I believe was her name, as she goes with a couple of her friends to this sorority house and all of those old stories that Jess used to tell her granddaughter, Sam, about the events of that night and the possibility that the killer wasn't the guy that she thought it was by the end of the film comes to fruition because Billy's back. So starting off with the positives for It's Me, Billy, the main one for me is that somebody finally got it right. You can tell with every frame of this goddamn movie that Dave and Bruce love, understand, and just have a gigantic respect for the original Black Christmas film. They know exactly what that film was about, they know exactly what the successes of that film was, and they know how to replicate it and how to have this through line to the version of the story that they want to tell to where it feels like a genuine sequel. There's no fucking weird skin cookies and jaundice killers. There's no magic ooze and fucking fraternities walking around with a goddamn cult. None of that stupid bullshit that Hollywood continuously gives us with the name Black Christmas that they decide to post on there with zero effort whatsoever. This legitimately feels like a direct sequel to that original film and I loved story-wise everything that they brought in this and everything that they teased of a possibility of what's to come. When you look at that original film, very simplistic. You get these sorority girls that are in this house, they get these creepy ass phone calls from this random POV killer that crawled up into the attic and over through the runtime of the movie, he one by one kills these sorority girls until you have Jess at the very end that ends up thinking that it's her boyfriend kills him, movie's over, but there's still somebody in the attic. Ooh, what's gonna happen? This movie continues with that, continues on with the legacy of Jess Bradford as she's the, the final girl, she's the one that survived this night. You got Sam coming in as this third generation that's been growing up in this limelight, that's been growing up in the shadow of her grandmother's story, and there's even some backstory there with her mother that's really interesting and then you insert Billy again and it just kind of goes for that same aesthetic it goes for this aesthetic of these girls stuck in this gigantic sorority house with a fucked up dude in the attic trying to scare the shit out of him before he creeps in their room and stabs him to death it's exactly what Black Christmas did and it's exactly what they're trying to do here you little bitch what did you do 
Yeah. And even where they try to, you know, divert away from that original template and try to do some things to, to push the boundaries a bit and kind of take it in some new directions and tease things that could come, very natural feeling story progression, very interesting directions and things that are genuine surprises for fans of that original film. There's two or three moments in the last 20 minutes of this fan film where you're gonna go, oh, oh shit, yeah. Beyond the story, this thing just looks cinematic from Jump Street. I mean, it's shot beautifully. The sound design is great. The locations are incredible. Like seriously, like bravo to you guys for finding this house, for finding this location. I mean, I just love even the aerial shots, which at this point should feel like it's a little bit cliche, even for fan films, we always gotta have a drone shot, but the drone shots are so gorgeous in this movie that it's like the first time I've ever seen them. Every single time we get that zoom out, overlook, eagle eye shot of this place, I'm like, oh, I know there's some fucked up shit going on in that house, but I wanna go there now. And even the camera work and all the cinematography and all the smaller scale stuff, like the inside these rooms or during you know, a couple of the kill scenes or recreating some of the iconic type of shots from the original film, again, Moments like that, if you're a fan of the original film, you're like, dude, fuck yes. The acting was also pretty damn good in this. That's the one thing that I always worry about with fan films that can easily take me out of it. I mean, I know the whole definition of fan film, you kind of have to work with whatever you get, but there's been a lot of them that I've watched where the acting is just, it, it's so bad that whatever awesome might be going on on screen, whatever passion is trying to be conveyed, it's very hard for me to get there. Not a problem at all with It's Me Billy. These girls do a great job, uh, as well as the actors playing some of the other characters that I won't get into, all around solid job with the acting. And finally, I just think overall they did a great job at building tension with this short film. I mean, this is something that even if you have no idea what's going on, if you've never seen Black Christmas before, I would imagine you're still going to be on the edge of your seat because you still feel that building tension. You're still going to be creeped out by the phone calls. You're still going to be creeped out with what the hell is this guy in the attic? What's going on? What's the connection here? And as things ratchet up throughout the third act of this film, it really does maintain that, uh, that feeling of cluelessness about where things are going as well as that feeling of helplessness about god do i want to see where things are going and that's just that's awesome that's one of the main things that i love about the original film the fact that they were able to recreate that here in our own modern way is beautiful now moving on to my negatives i only have two and i'm being honest with you they're both nitpicks like there's something that's not really taking anything away from my experience but they are two things that i noticed so might as well spit them out right one of them is that there is a scene inside of a car that's a dialogue exchange between two characters, and I'm not sure if the microphone was just turned up a little bit too loud, or maybe the microphone was pushed into somebody's clothes, like a lav mic, but every time somebody shuffled in their seat, you could hear like something rubbing on the mic, kind of like that, not that extreme, but I, I could hear it the whole time, and I was like, hmm, I don't know. That, like, for all the great sound design that's in the movie, that was the one scene where it stood out where I just I felt like the mic was turned up a little too loud or, or something was going on. A little bit too much background noise while we're supposed to be focusing on the dialogue. In my final negative, there is one very short, singular shot in this movie that I felt showed a little bit too much of Billy. One of the things that I always felt was so effective about Billy in the original films that we never really got to see what he looked like. I mean, the iconic image of his eye, that's about the most you ever got to see aside from his silhouette. And they do a good job at recreating a lot of that in this movie and staying with that aesthetic. But there's one scene where he walks into a room and you, while he's shadowed, you see exactly what he looks like. And in that moment, I was like, <clears throat> I didn't quite need that. Didn't hate it. I don't think it takes away from anything else that they do with reveals to Billy, but I could have done without that one shot. But overall, guys, I love this. I'm very excited for what I believe is gonna be great success that Dave and Bruce are gonna have with this. I encourage all of you guys, please, to go check it out. And go check out the original Black Christmas, for Christ's sake. If any of you are left watching this and have not seen it, shame on you. But definitely check out It's Me Billy afterwards because I thought it was a great continuation. I thought it was a great fan film. I mean, the thing just looked professional and cinematic as hell to where if I didn't tell you it was a fan film and you just walked in and watched me watching it, you would swear I was watching something that was in theaters last week. Bravo to you guys. Absolutely loved it. And I believe a lot of people like me when they watch this are just going to be genuinely excited for however you guys are able to follow this up and whatever you guys decide to do in the future. So thank you and awesome job to Dave and Bruce. So if you're a Black Christmas fan and you have been dying for somebody to actually follow this story correctly, 
look no further than the fan film It's Me Billy. It's live right now on YouTube and Vimeo. So check it out and experience Billy's long awaited return. So what do you guys think of It's Me, Billy? Are you a fan of this? Are you a fan of the original film? Is there something about this that you felt missed the mark somehow? Do you prefer some of the other wild ass directions that we've seen in Hollywood? Let me know all your thoughts. Let's talk some Black Christmas. If you like Black Christmas and all the other ones, I reviewed all three of the movies. I've even ranked them, so check that out as well. I'll try to drop a link for that playlist up here somewhere. Please like and share this video, hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button over on Dave McRae as well, where you're gonna be checking this film out and check out all of his stuff. Awesome YouTuber, really good guy. And as always guys, thank you for watching and remember, opinions are like assholes, but that doesn't mean that you have to be.